Let's talk about the geology of fluorite. Fluorite is a calcium fluoride that belongs to the halide mineral family, a group of minerals which consists of metals combined with common halogen elements. When fluorite is in its most pure form, it is colorless and transparent. Fluorite can be found in many colors, including blue, green, pink, yellow, purple, black, red, you name it. Purple and green are the classic colors of fluorite and the most prevalently found around the world. Blue fluorite is actually quite rare and collectors are looking for it, along with brilliant yellow is also a very rare form of this. Pink, black, and colorless are the most rare of all fluorite colors and very hard to find. Fluorite can be found in many different kinds of shapes, like cubes and octahedrons, and can be fluorescent under UV light. Fluorite is primarily mined alongside silver and lead deposits as part of the rock surrounding the ores or in granite or marble mines. Fluorite is found in pockets or veins alongside calcite quartz and barite. They can also occur in pigmentite cavities in the cemetery rocks. Deposits of fluorite formed millions and millions of mi years ago when hot water containing fluorine and other dissolved elements and minerals rose from the deep within the earth during the Jurassic period. The hot water then flows through faults and fractures in limestone that was formed earlier in the Mississippian period. When the hot water mixed with the calcium-rich limestone, the temperatures were at just the right point where where fluorite to crystallize along the fault walls and the layers parallel to the limestone. The host rock eventually is weathered away and replaced with the fluorite. On the most scale of mineral hardness, fluorite grades at a four, which makes it relatively soft and easy to cut. Today, fluorite is mined in many different locations around the world. Some of the most significant finds are in Argentina, Austria, Canada, China, England, France, Germany, Mexico, Morocco, Myanmar, Nibia, Russia, Spain, Switzerland, and even the United States. Stay tuned for part three where we'll talk about how to use fluorite.